Hi, my name is Kanchana and I'm an education instructor with Credit Valley Conservation. Thank you for joining me on this lovely day. I'm out here in my backyard getting some fresh air and appreciating all the beautiful nature out here and suddenly I'm inspired to create some art. Nature has always inspired artists around the world. But did you know that some artists use natural objects such as fallen leaves and branches to create beautiful sculptures and pieces of art? Often, these art pieces have a message that the artist wants to tell people about nature or what inspires them in nature. For instance, they might want to tell people about the beauty of nature or about conserving or protecting it. This kind of art is called eco art. Eco artists only use the materials provided by Mother Nature. They're also very respectful of nature and only use things that are found on the ground. And they don't pick anything that's living. This is the kind of art that I'm going to show you how to make today. Here are the natural objects in my backyard that inspired me. Some stems from some old plants, some fallen branches, some fallen leaves, some maple keys, some seeds that were fallen from last year, some fallen maple leaves, and two different kinds of rocks. Let's make some eco art. Here is my final eco art piece. A big flower with two little butterflies. I call it protecting our pollinators because butterflies, like the ones in my art piece, are pollinators that are important in keeping our environment healthy. Discover the natural objects in your backyard that spark your creativity. Let your imagination run wild and create something that makes you smile. Make sure to take a picture of your eco art and share it with us in the comments below. Get out in your backyard today and become an eco artist. Thanks for learning with CVC. I can't wait to see what you create.